Hello, this is Albert and I'm going to talk about psychological problems and language learning. Um, well, we can understand uh, the feelings of people that uh, give up learning languages. Sometimes we get discouraged in our life and we feel bad. And we give up, but a lot of times we stand up and we continue with our goals. But uh, why some people give up? What are the reasons? If we understand the reasons, maybe we can find solutions. Well, in the root of these uh, psychological problems, uh, I think we find extreme demands. Those are musts. What kind of demands are those? Well, the first kind is uh, our demands about ourselves, a must, demands about other people, you must, or demands about the situation, in this case is learning languages or language. For example, the first one, a must do it well, I must get approval from other people, I must not have problems, I must not get re re rejection, uh, is I must or I must not. The second one is you must behave well with me, you must encourage me, you must help me, you must not criticize me, you must not make fun of me, you must not discourage me, you must or you must not. Or about the situation, the third one. It must be easy to learn languages. There must be best methods. There must be secret methods that make language learning much easier. There must be, it must not be difficult. And this kind of, um, of thinking. Well, these are stream demands and what happens when we fail. We can have problems, these psychological problems. We start thinking badly. We can st we, we start thinking about badly about ourselves, about other people or about the situations. This kind of thinking, irrational thinking, that comes from these masts, it's about depreciation levels, about, about myself, about you, about the situation. We think that the situation, for example, is too difficult, that language learning it's uh, bad, it's uh, uh, useless, it's uh, impossible, or you think that other people are bad, or they have a gift, and uh, they are bad people, or things like that. Or about yourself, you can think that you are bad at learning languages, uh, you have some kind of disabled uh, situation in your brain or you don't uh, you can't learn languages or, or things like that another kind of thinking it's the awful thinking the horrible thinking from the the precision levels you can go to this and it's horrible I, this is awful this is 100% bad and well this kind of thinking creates a low level of of uh, frustration tolerance and this means that you began thinking that you can not stand this. 
this is impossible for you I can't not stand this this is uh, impossible to 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 support or to to lie to live with this well this is a bad thing because all these masts and all this irrational thinking causes feelings what feelings depression feelings of depression feelings of anger or feelings of anxiety hmm? usually demands about ourselves create this kind of feelings depression demands about others anger anger you think that other people are bad and that they deserve bad things or with depression you think that you are behaving bad and you deserve bad things or about the situation and you feel anxiety language learning it's too difficult and it's horrible they can't stand it and you feel very bad and you feel anxiety but these feelings causes behaviors what kind of behaviors the behaviors are behaviors like giving up you give up learning languages or you behave aggressively with all other people other people you feel bad you in your body you feel bad uh, symptoms or you make nip picking commentaries in forums or in r real life and so on well those are the reasons and uh, my message is that our thinking it's what causes our undesirable feelings and these undesirable behaviors that we can sometime, sometimes feel in ourselves or in other other people I hope it helps you and in the next video I'll talk about solutions thank you and bye bye